I hope you're all doing well. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Jess and I run a crochet small business called Hook a Duck. I wanted to get my YouTube channel going again and now I feel like I obviously have some real content like that I can be doing multiple videos on. It's super exciting. Thank you so much for being here. Today I thought we'd just do a little introduction to Hook a Duck where the idea came from, what the plans are with it, so that you know what you're letting yourselves in for. <laughs> I've started a business, it's crocheting. Am I a granny? Yes, but it's actually quite cool. I first got the idea for this crochet business, particularly plushies, by the way. For anyone that knows me, you'll know that I am obsessed with like cuddly toys. Like I've always had so many cuddly toys. They like fill the top of my wardrobe. And since moving out of my parents' house, now where I live, I've also got a wardrobe filled with cuddly toys. And they're from new cuddly toys that I've got since having moved out. So yeah, it doesn't stop. And I was on TikTok and I saw, I just started getting these TikToks of these people crocheting these really cute plushies. And I was like, that is so cool. I really wanna give that a go. A lot of them, a lot of my, my favorite ones, well, it's worldwide. Like one of my favorite ones is in America. Actually two of them are in America. One's in Australia. One of the crocheters that I've now become friends with lives in Africa. So it really is a worldwide thing. And I just really love it. First of all, I do have a lot of hobbies. Well, I <laughs> mean, I do already do quite a lot, but I was just like, you know, sometimes there are times when you're just sat mindlessly scrolling through your phone, like particularly at the weekends when there's not as much going on. And, you know, to now be able to sit down and do crochet and do something that I really enjoy and it doesn't make me feel as like sluggish, you know, sometimes just scrolling for hours makes you feel very sluggish, doesn't it? So doing something like this is really fun, really motivating. And I was like, why not make a business out of it? So right from the off, actually, I had an idea what I was gonna call my business. Cause I was like, this is so fun as well. Like making up your own business, your own shop on Etsy and everything. I'd always had the idea hook a duck. It kind of just came very naturally to me. I think because in crochet, you, you crochet with something called a crochet hook. So the hook is like a pun on the crochet hook. And then basically the duck was the very first crochet plushie that I did. So on YouTube, there's so many videos, free videos on crochet. I just sort of typed in easy, you know, beginner friendly crochet plushies. And this one came up from One Cent Crochet is their account name. And it was a little, the little duck, um, these ducks. Also, look at how I've positioned them all along the back. But the problem is if you move like in a specific way, they all fall off. <laughs> so, <laughs> so these little ducks, I've started putting them with the bigger eyes now, which I love. They're quite easy because they're basically just a round circle. A few little complicated bits with the wings and the feet. So I went straight into a video. Then I obviously had to go into other videos to sort of break it down because in the video, it was like, do six single crochet in the round. And I was like, I don't even know how to do a single crochet yet. So you then just go on to another video that just says literally single crochet tutorial and that will teach you. So YouTube is very helpful for allowing you to fully learn crochet. They did not look like this at the start. There were obviously a lot of things I still needed to learn, but I was just so proud of what I'd done. So this was, this wasn't the very first, this was one of the very first ducks that I did. And I remember it was, I think it was like Mother's Day this year. So like nearer the start of the year. And I was like, I'm gonna make my mum one of these for Mother's Day, which I did. And then I was like, but I'm also gonna make my dad, my brother and my boyfriend one as well. So I ended up making four. The first thing is that it's actually inside out. I don't know if you can see that, but it's meant to have this nice like, looking like that pattern but that's actually inside out which i didn't realize it was actually my mum who pointed that out to me one day i was like crocheting and she was like why does the inside look so much prettier than the outside and i was like oh you're meant to like flip it didn't realize and also things like the mouth 
I originally put under the eyes. However, it looks way cuter between the eyes. But I mean, something like that, you know, animals and humans, our mouth is actually below our eyes. So that feels like it makes sense, but it just looks so much better like that, doesn't it? Starting like this, eventually it's turned into this. I'm super pleased. It did take a while. It is a big learning process. I remember at first thinking like, I can't do this, but you just stick with it. And eventually it just clicks. And then you're just going and you're like, wow. Cause it's like muscle memory, you know, with anything. I'm actually teaching my mum how to crochet. She wants to like get involved. She's actually doing really well. She's actually picking it up much quicker than I did. I think she's done quite a lot of like knitting and stuff before. I've just said to her now, like just keep doing little and often. Cause once you've got that single crochet stitch, the rest of it then just kind of falls into place because a lot of the other stitches, they're just variations on the single crochet. I've gone on a tangent. Hook a duck is like, a fairground game which is like fun and it just makes you think of like happiness and fun which is what my business is all about so a duck is like a very it's like a cute animal i like that within the name there's an animal that's like cute and everyone kind of likes ducks don't they the duck is a is in there and it's a plushie and my business is mainly plushies i then went and checked you know if anyone else was really using that name nobody else really was i then had visions of a cool logo idea my boyfriend is very good at like editing and that sort of thing so he put the logo together for me my initial idea which i still think is a very good idea but we just couldn't make it work was having a duck like stood at the side holding the crochet hook as if it was like a fishing line and then coming off of the hook would be it would say hook a duck um in like wool so as if he was like fishing and he'd hooked out the hook a duck logo however when it came to like actually putting it together in a square there was quite a lot sort of width ways as you can imagine but not a lot length ways so it just didn't really work out in a square like you'd have to have the hook like super high and then the writing like quite thin like it just didn't quite work out so anyway we found these super cute ducks and ducklings which i thought was so cute so actually this this kind of works better because we get the cute little ducklings this is the logo you got the mallard which i love and then the cute little ducklings one of them's like falling over and then we added this ball of wool and my boyfriend very cleverly said the ball of wool it's like it's kind of like that's like the last duckling and then it's going to get turned into an actual duckling because obviously it starts as the whirl and then you turn it into the duckling and then the hook a duck writing teal is like my favorite color and also it kind of matched the duck it was kind of the same sort of color as the duck so yeah that's my logo love that um yeah i'm quite lucky that i've got him to be able to help me with things like this and also my little intro to this video was obviously mike that did that i would have no idea how to do that so thank you very much once i got my logo i then went on to canva and i printed my business cards and on the back they say thank you for supporting my small business hope you love your order and then they're all my social media handles so when people make an order i put this in with the order it's kind of like a little thank you note but also they could just be business cards as well like at markets and stuff i'll hand them out once i've got my logo and stuff set up i had my ducks as my first like item white ones yellow ones and mallards so then i went on to etsy obviously set up my shop it was nice and simple my profile photo as my logo and then in the banner i had some pictures of my chicks obviously i needed to take pictures of all of these guys for my listings decide what to price them when it comes to deciding what to price them i was just sort of looking at you know crochet businesses on etsy that sell similar things what sort of prices they would do because obviously you want to go the same sort of level and then i just posted them it was sort of a few weeks before I got an order. Luckily, my mum said you should do like graduation hats. And I was like, OK, yeah, that could work. So I did graduation hats. Here's an example, my little graduation hat that you can just attach. When I did that, the order started coming in. I think a lot of people like for just the plushie, you kind of maybe have to be like a crochet sort of person to know to search for crochet plushie. Because otherwise you just sort of search for a cuddly toy, probably. But when it comes to like something that's like a gift, like a graduation, you might search into Etsy like graduation gift and then this would come up. As soon as I did that, the order started coming in. I think so far I've had about 12 or 13 orders. So 
it's going good. I do definitely think from the experience I've had, it seems that the occasion things sell the most. I've had a few orders where it's like just been the item, but most of them have been graduation so far. I've got the Halloween stuff coming out very soon. I've got little witches hats that I'm gonna be putting on all of my plushies. So hopefully they'll sell more obviously this time of year and then coming up to christmas i'm definitely going to do little christmas hats so i feel like it's just kind of fell into that that's my sort of niche as a business is that i'm obviously doing plushies and then i'm doing these little hats <laughs> so your plushie can be customized to like any occasion i'm also going to do little birthday hats as well which i haven't done yet but i'm going to do them could get some little pom-poms and just do like triangle and pom-pom on the end so i started with ducks and then I went on to Wales. I think I might have to say it. I think the Wales might be my favourite. I just love them. I think they're so cute, so pretty, and they're very, very easy to make. They are actually easier than the ducks because you don't have to do this bit, which is called a bobble stitch. With the Wales was where I first started thinking, I'm really getting the hang of this. I can see how this pattern's kind of coming together. And I feel like I can adapt this pattern a little bit to make it how I want it. Because there are a lot of free whale patterns out there. But from what I'd learned from the duck, I was like, okay, so I'm going to follow the basic shape of it. But then when it comes to the fins, a lot of people do the fins very differently. And I knew from the duck, I really like these little wings. So I just thought, well, let's just do the fins exactly the same as the wings, which is what I did. And I was really pleased with them. So basically this isn't actually a pattern that I've like followed to the letter of someone else's. Like this is something that I've kind of taken inspiration from other people and then made it my own. So that was the thing that kind of inspired me and got me thinking, well, actually I could do my own patterns because something that I realized is that a lot of the selling of patterns, especially when people get bigger on social media and things, is they start selling their own patterns, which is such a good idea. And when it comes to patterns as well, it means that you can do bigger, more elaborate crochet things that do take a lot of time. And you might not necessarily want to be sending out the actual plushy like too much. Like basically, if you say if you were doing a market or something, it would take you a lot of time to make a lot of those plushies. Like it would take you maybe five hours to make one or two of them. Whereas in five hours, you could have maybe made like 10 whales, if that makes sense. And then when it comes to things like markets, you've got to think, well, people are going to want to buy the less expensive items. So it's it's worth investing your time more into the, into the smaller, less expensive items, because they're more likely that people are going to buy them. So if you're wanting to do the bigger, more elaborate ones, which I fully do, it's very good to do patterns. So... From that little experience I had with the whale, I started getting inspired to do patterns. When I did the ducks, I did little ducklings as well. This was fully my own sort of pattern. It was just a smaller version of the other one. These ones, so they're the chicks, but they're with these hats. So I'd seen that people were doing hats. And then I sort of had a look at different people's tutorials, picked little bits out, and then kind of came up with my own hat idea with this nice little flower on the top. And then it goes down into the chick. So I've got blue ones and pink ones and you can obviously have a yellow or, or a white chick and you can have like their name written on top. I've had a few where it's been like a baby's been born or it's been someone's birthday and I've done it with a hat and written either like their initials or how old they are on the hat. So they're quite nice little celebration ones. But yeah, as I said, I think I'm going to do birthday hats as well. So that'll be cool. So I had quite a few sort of variations of the ducks to start with and the whales. Then I went on to my sloth. So with the sloth, my brother's housemate actually messaged me because my brother had started like showing everyone all my crochet ducks, <laughs> which is really cool. I'm very appreciative for all the support from my friends and family. Thank you very much. Will's housemate messaged me saying, can you do a sloth? And I was like, yeah, I can give it a go. So because I wanted to do it quite quickly, I found a tutorial for a sloth and it was for like a sloth key ring. But I obviously did it in the bigger yarn that I use. This is how it turned out. I was very pleased with it at the time. I am pleased with it. But what I've got now I think is way better. I mean, you can still kind of see it's a sloth. And the pattern is really cool. I think it's because it, it was more of like a little key ringy pattern. My brother loved it. And then he did say like, why does it have two long arms and two not 
like it has little bobble stitches there for the legs but you can't really see them and obviously the face isn't really too round like a sloth he was kind of like why is the head so big not in a negative way these are all in constructive ways and i'm very very grateful because otherwise i would not have got to this and i adore this i know i've just said that the whale was my favorite but let me show you this one actually this was the first one i did she's a bride currently i'll go on to that later i love the sloth they're all my favorites but i do i just think this sloth is so beautiful like look at its face that's much more slothy the face is in a good proportion to the body it's now got four actual legs i improved it to get to this from this i was thinking right what can i do obviously add two more legs on let's make the head more circular which meant i had to sort of finish at the body and then do another circle for the head and then sew it on because otherwise the circle was kind of going in that way but i wanted it to go round that way so that you get that circle effect on the front i'm really pleased with slothy i am gonna re-releasing the sloth pattern which i haven't done yet I haven't had time yet it's all just go 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 like each day trying to upload to social media do my tiktoks i will release the sloth pattern at some point <laughs> i feel like the sloth pattern is one that could do well because as i say it's one that's slightly bigger it takes much longer to do than the whales and the ducks you know the plushy version has to be more expensive so far all the ones i've done have been mostly requests from people there were other ones that i saw that i really love and want to do like i definitely want to do a giraffe elephant but there's just things are happening so far this year and i'm like well i've got to get this pan out at this time like at the moment i've got to work on my halloween pans because it's nearly halloween then i've got a family thing coming up that i need to work on the one for that which i've already got in mind then it's christmas and i've got in mind specific ones for specific people of like what their favorite animal is for christmas so some of the ones that i initially had in my head they will appear at some point but i've got others that are to specific time frames at the moment you know i did my sloth then i did another one that i haven't released yet and i will be that's kind of similar to the sloth and it was for father's day that i did i need to finalize that and then i will be releasing that one i really wanted to do a frog so i did a frog i saw there were lots of froggy patterns online and i sort of took inspiration i wanted to try and do my own patterns because i kind of got the pattern bug from doing the sloth so this little froggy i ended up with who i really love it's cute little arms and then this was for my brownie leader who was leaving brownies made a little owl kind of similar to the frog like similar sizes their bodies are like similar with the pattern and stuff just slight tweaks i'm really pleased with them so they're basically all the ones that i've got so far when it comes to occasions i was then adding i've got wedding obviously when you get a wedding one they come as like a couple you can choose you know what couple you want what combinations that's where we're at the moment with what i've made there are many more patterns to come that i just haven't got around to releasing yet but i will patterns on etsy and there's also this platform called ribla it's like specifically for patterns i think and then the most recent development is the other day there was a facebook post about an upcoming market and it was like stalls you just have to pay 20 pound for the stall and i was like Ooh. at first i was like that sounds a bit scary but then i was like no wait because this is actually going to be the best way to get yourself out there in the community and you know markets are like those places where you'll catch people that weren't necessarily meaning to go out and buy a crochet plushie but they might just see it and be like oh that's really cute i want one we're market prepping coming up hopefully we'll like it we'll enjoy it because there does seem to be a market like most weekends if you type into facebook just like markets there's loads locally so yeah we'll see how we get on on the first few and then i'll probably just yeah try and start getting us into loads of markets there'll be a market vlog video coming soon in the next few weeks so that's where we're going really so we've got plushies patterns markets just doing as much as we can i need to get more into patterns that i see online and just trying new patterns so that i'm growing my skills and stuff because i'm still definitely not an intermediate crochet I, I still have a lot to learn so yeah especially some of my favorite people like their patterns that they release so i'll start doing new plushies and also a lot of them sometimes you'll come across one that you make and that might be one that sells really well it's just 
doing as much as possible, learning as much as possible. I am super excited about this journey, about this new hobby. Last things I also wanna say is, so at the start of the process, I obviously started up all my socials. So Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, my main ones. Facebook and Instagram, obviously great, but I find it, it's much harder to grow on those ones because you sort of just get pushed out to your like friends and family that you already know. And it's harder to reach people that you don't know. Whereas TikTok is very good at obviously pushing it out to people that you don't know. So big appreciation for TikTok. Just trying to post, especially TikToks every day. Very excited to do markets and actually take it out there to the physical people. Because a lot of people don't have social media as well. So it's just reaching a whole new range of people, isn't it? So that's exciting. So yeah, if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited to be back on YouTube. YouTube is always something I've wanted to do. You know, I did do it for a bit before, but I just found it difficult knowing what to post. Like a week would roll by very quickly and suddenly it was like, well, I've got to think of something else to do now. Like there's only so many times I can go around the garden center and people will find it interesting. <laughs> when you just like work full time and at the weekends you just sort of potter about, it's not really an influencer life, is it? But I can be a crochet girly. So I hope you see from this video, that, like this is something I'm very passionate about. And when you're passionate about something, it just sort of blurts out, doesn't it? Like you just find the things to talk about and I'm always doing stuff with crochet like every day. So it should be easy for me to find something each week to talk about and to show you. Like obviously there's gonna be lots I'm gonna be showing. We'll do tutorials, we'll do vlogs, market prep, coming along to the markets, making patterns. Like there are some fun ones I wanna do where you like get either a toy or like a little kinder surprise thing or something and then you've gotta try and crochet what that is. Or I could do sometimes where people like draw in draw pictures or give me inspiration and then I try and crochet it. Like there's so many crochet ideas, pattern recommendation videos. So yeah, I'm feeling very excited to be back on YouTube. I love YouTube. It's such a lovely platform and thank you for sticking with me. I'm very excited to see where this journey is gonna take us. And yeah, I will see you next week for another video. Bye guys.